Hi, I'm Eric Kai, the chemical statistician, and today I'm going to show you how to obtain the expected value of an exponential random variable using the moment generating function. In an earlier video, I showed how to obtain the moment generating function for the exponential distribution. So if you haven't watched that video, I encourage you to do that first. The expected value, of course, is defined as x times the probability density function and integrating this integrand from negative infinity to positive infinity. So the exponential distribution is a con is the exponential random variable is a continuous random variable. So this is the definition of the expected value for a continuous random variable. An analogous definition for a discrete random variable involves a sum. Now, you can, of course, proceed to get the expected value of an exponential random variable using this definition. And I encourage you to do that as an exercise. It is a little algebraically complicated because it involves integration by parts, but I think that that's a good exercise for everybody to do. Instead, today, I'm going to show you an easier way of obtaining the expected value of an exponential random variable using the moment generating function. So in an earlier video, I showed that the moment generating function for an exponential random variable is lambda divided by lambda minus t with the condition that t is less than lambda. So let's apply this moment generating function in obtaining the expected value. So remember that the expected value is equal to the derivative of the moment generating function evaluated at zero. So let's do this for the exponential distribution. The first derivative, well actually, let's rewrite the moment generating function like this, which will make the differentiation easier. So the first derivative of the moment generating function is simply dropping this exponent down subtracting this exponent by 1 times negative 2, and then applying the chain rule, we multiply the negative 1 for the t. So simplifying this expression, we get lambda divided by lambda minus t all squared. So to get the expected value, we simply evaluate this first derivative at t equals 0. And there you have it. The expected value for an exponential random variable is equal to 1 over the rate parameter, lambda. This is a pretty simple way of obtaining the exponential random an exponential random variable's expected value. Now, it's not going to be this easy for every distribution, but I think that this is a good illustration of how the, ex the moment generating function can be very useful in some circumstances. If you'd like to learn more about statistics, chemistry, machine learning, or math, or if you'd like to get some professional advice for your career development, I encourage you to visit my blog, The Chemical Statistician. 
You can also find me on Twitter at Kemstat Eric. Visit my YouTube channel to get more video tutorials about statistics or chemistry, and also check out my new talk show, The Central Equilibrium, on YouTube. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you learned something useful today.